Recovery is possible no matter what you have been through or where you are at right now. Full recovery and actually living in the opposite end of the spectrum is fully possible. I've had the privilege of living clean and sober for 10 years now and doing exactly that. But what I didn't know early on when I was a teenager was just being educated on what was going on and what I was partaking in, what was going on in my life. And it was at the age of 15, I had a knee injury from playing football. And what happened was I needed a surgery. Next step, surgery, knee healed pretty quick, but they gave me a bottle of painkillers to go with it. What I didn't know, and I had already been dabbling in stuff and doing the wrong things, but what I didn't know was the intense addictive nature of painkillers and the door that I opened up when I started abusing those led me down a long dark path where I watched over 30 of my friends die and countless other problems and arrests and rehabs. But what I want to say to you is this, if there is a situation where you do need to take painkillers, I understand that and those situations are out there, okay? But position yourself for safety. Okay? Position yourself for freedom. Let the people around you know what you're taking. Talk to the doctor about what you're taking. Be aware of your body while you're taking it. And you know, I tell people, if there is a situation where you need to, it's understandable, okay? But is it worth it to deal with a little extra pain or try and step out of addiction? Is it worth it to maybe a little bit of uncomfort while you strengthen whatever it was that got hurt? Or is it gonna be harder to deal with the addiction once it sinks its hook in, its, its hooks in? So I just tell you, be aware, be accountable, and understand what you're getting yourself into because freedom is available and it's possible to take painkillers without getting addicted. And if you're in that situation, let the people around you know.